Hi everyone, this is Clara with Card Stampin' with Clara, back with uh, some more cards this week, and um, I hope there'll be cards that you'll enjoy. This little turtle set is uh, back in stock as far as I know, the last time I checked it was anyway, and uh, it's just as cute as it can be, so we're going to do a video on it today. Um, if you would please uh, push that sub subscribe button. <laughs> and uh, also, if you know someone that might enjoy my videos, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. Um, you just never know who might like to learn how to make cards or do some crafting. Um, also, if you um, need to purchase something, my uh host code is good for one more day and then I'm going to change it. But um, after that, you know, just use the host code that's on the website. And um, I guess that's about all for the business end of it here today. So let's look at this card we're going to make. I have to confess, this is the third card we're going to make like this instead of the second one. I just did a video and it had no sound because I had the sound turned down, didn't realize it. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more on camera today. I think I've got everything again and set up again to go um, to try to get this car made, but uh, hopefully we'll all get through it this time and uh, we'll just take it a step at a time. But this is a little uh, belated birthday card out of this Turtle Friends set. And uh, this little turtle is done in Mossy Meta. And this paper is from the Whimsy Wonder Paper Pack, this pretty polka dot uh, paper. And Mossy Meta is the color that uh, we're using for accents and what have you. So uh, the inside of this little uh, card says, hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. And that comes from the Garden Birdhouse. So I'm gonna set this one over here and we'll talk about the other cards, and then we'll get to making that one. This one, um, oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot to show you this set, so you'll know where all these things come from. I'm sorry. Turtle Friends, it's got um, happy birthday, happy belated birthday, you're totally loved, hello little one, and forever friends. And you can see all the different images, the little turtle and the baby turtles and the shells and everything. There's a cute little bird and a hat and what have you. And this comes with this punch as a bundle. You save 10% when you purchase the two together. And, uh, you know, you can punch out some eyes and punch out the little turtle if you like. So, we're going to, we'll be using that uh, punch here in a little bit. And I'm going to lay the uh, set over. And this is where... The hope each moment of your day is as special as you are, the garden birdhouse. Now, those are the, the ones we're focusing on, and I'm going to use a couple of other punches, and I'll tell you about those as we go through making the card. Now then, let me tell you about this little one. It says, hello, little one. So that's nice for a new baby that's um, coming, or just come, I should say. This one is made for a little girl. It's done in petal pink, and the painted Christmas paper has got that color in it and so I used a piece of it. So um, you can use Christmas paper and you can make uh, congratulations cards. How about that? And on the inside I uh, just stamped welcome which is also from that garden birdhouse set. So we'll lay this one up and here's one for a little girl, a uh, little boy. Well you know when you get flustered it doesn't always come out right does it? This one is Night of Navy, and it's for a little boy, obviously. And this is the Mama Turtle with two little uh, ones trailing along behind. And we've got uh, some uh, streamers and what have you. These are in uh, white that I embossed. And um, this label is from the Ornate Labels die set that I cut that out with. And this is just a panel that I rounded the corners with. Um... And this little gem is from the Holiday Gem Set. And I put welcome on the inside of that one. And, of course, this is Night of Navy. All right. 
This one says you're totally loved, and it would be good for a husband and wife, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm not sure, but uh, you've got a little male turtle and a little female turtle. I put a little hat on her. Now, that one I just cut out myself to uh, indicate that she was female. And put a little bow tie on him, and obviously, um, as the little bunnies in the one of the movies would say, they're Twitter painted or they're, they're in love. So this is a nice happy birthday, and it's done in Bermuda Bay, and it's also a uh, crumb cake. This one, it's got two of the little turtles talking to each other, and it says forever friends. And as you can see, it's got some grass. So that's one of the little stamps, too, in there. And you've got two labels out of the... Um, cut with the seasonal uh, label dies. You've got one label cut here with the um, scalloped contours. I think that was one that I used, I don't know if it was last time or the time before. The colors are evening evergreen and soft succulent. And those gems also come from that holiday set. And being friends, I didn't put anything on the inside of this one. Thought somebody might want to watch a, want, might want to write their own. You just got to have a, bur a, a Christmas card this time of the year. So um, this one I did with peach pizzazz, and this paper is no longer available, but you don't have to have this particular paper. You could have another stripe paper and just uh, coordinate your colors. And I also use that um, uh, scallop contours um die set again. This one is from the uh, rectangle, the stitched rectangles uh, dies. And uh, like I said, the color is peach pizzazz and the little birds are in navy. And I took the little um, birthday hat and made it look like a Santa Claus hat. So there you go. Sending love and peace this season. And that is from the peaceful deer set. Here's one. It says, it's time to celebrate. Celebrate. So, I did this one in uh, soft succulent. That's the green color. And uh, this paper is from the hand-pinned 12 by 12 soft succulent. Uh, well, it's the soft succulent color, but it's the hand-pinned 12 by 12 paper. And... Um, I put some of the flowers from that same set in behind it. And this one looks a little bit more like uh, maybe springtime or, you know, you might use some paper that's got some orange in it and, and make one like this for um, the fall of the year or maybe even Christmas. But um, this little turtle is sitting on two of the layered circles, the well, they're, they're kind of layered because you get a smooth circle and a scallop circle. So, I also used the black trying to accent the black in this. And I also thought it would make everything stand out a little bit. And this one says, hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. Which came from the garden birdhouse. And then the happy birthday came from the little uh, turtle friends today. And the last one. This is, this is the one that says, Happy Birthday. And this is from the Tidings of Christmas paper set. And Evening Evergreen is the color. And um, on this little turtle, and one of the others, too, I didn't mention it. I used some Wink Estella uh, on those little um, darker areas on the shell. And it kind of gives them a little shiny, glittery uh, appearance. And... I put a little gem on this hat to make it look like a celebration. And the inside says the same thing. All right, we're going to do this a little bit different today. Like I said, this is a, <laughs> after I already had my video finished, I realized I had no voice. So I'm going to show you more about the stamping and what have you. I hope I've got everything laid out. I'm, I may not if I, if I find something, we'll just uh, have to do the best we can, I guess. But um, this one, what, this is the Stamparatus 
if you're new to stamping. And mine has had lots of use and it's a little bit um, stained, but that doesn't hurt it. It just, uh, I just need to get some of the cleaner and clean it real good. Um, before I start stamping, I, I left this so you could see. This is just a piece of um, paper that is not, you know, just cheap cardstock. And I always try to stamp and make sure everything's straight before I put my good piece on. And so this is the piece that I'm going to be stamping on. And I hope I'm getting this lined back up correctly. Mm, needs to slide over just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be okay now. I'm going to use the Mossy Meta to stamp that. And my pad is getting a bit worn. I think I'm going to have to invest in a new one. I think, okay. Maybe just a little bit darker. That's the one thing about the Stamparatus. If you don't get it quite as dark as you need to to start with, you can always go back and, and stamp over it. So, all right. I think that'll be all right if I don't get ink on it. And I'll lay that right here for now. The other thing I'm going to do, um, let me get my um, simple chamois and wipe this off a little bit before I lay it over. This simple chamois does wonders, especially on these photopolymer steps, stamps. No telling what's going to come out of my mouth. I'm sorry. Um, but the um, it just cleans all the fuzz, lint, anything that can cause you problems in your stamping. So I'm going to lay this one over out of the way. And I'm going to get a piece of, this is um, white for the turtle to be stamped on. Let's see. You might pay attention as to how you're going to put your, how your turtle's going to look and how you're going to slide it into your um, punch. Maybe I'll get it set here in a minute. So I'm going to, I'm going to put him down on this end. And because I'm going to run this through my die machine and cut him into a circle, I'm going to leave enough room around it to make sure that I have enough uh, space to cut the circle. And I think that'll be enough. This is really a handy tool, the Stamparatus, when I had him upside down. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. My brain is out to lunch today. Okay, let's try that again. I thought I had him upside down. Okay. Um, if you are doing one or two steps, two step stamping, it really is nice to be able to put one stamp on one side and then put another stamp on the other one. Like for instance, if I wanted to do a lot of these, I could put that turtle shell once I got it positioned over this and then I can just come down and and stamp it. Um, let me take this off and show you while I've got this thing out. Like that. It's these two plates really help. And I'm gonna lean up a little bit and see if I can get this shell where it's should be. Let me see. I think that'll be good. All right. 
And so if you have two, two things like this that need to be stamped one over top the other, whether it's a flower or a turtle, if you're gonna make more than one, this is what you can do. And you see he's perfectly lined up. If you get him on there right to start with, and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Maybe, maybe one more time. I don't usually do this when we're um, doing the videos because it, it does take time. But maybe somebody will benefit from this today. I usually try to do things that I can do ahead of time and then just show you how to put the card together. All right, and you hear the squeaking. And this thing, as you can see, gets as stained as it can be, but you just go rinse it out with some water. Occasionally, I use a little soap, and uh, it just cleans your stamps very good. All right. Uh, these are stored on the back, but I need to get this off so I can turn it over. I may not have shown you before, but that's just where they go. And I use a little something extra sometimes. Um, you need a little extra above the, above the pad. Well, there's... I've got a baby wipe here, too. I didn't, I missed some there. One thing you do have to do is you have to um, lay your plates like this so that when you store them, they don't get warped. All right, I'm gonna put that back in the drawer. I'm not sitting too close to it. All right. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm assuming this is dry, I'm going to take the smooth circle and I'm going to use a little bit of post-it tape. This is for a sentiment. These are the rest of the dies. Lay those out of the way. And I'm gonna run this through the die machine. The die cutting machine, I should say. Stamping up sales die cutting machines. I had mine before they, uh, you know, brought these others on the market and since I'm getting a little older, I don't use a crank anymore. I just use this little electric one, which honestly I love. Okay. Now we're going to take this piece, a piece of the Mossy Meta, and put the uh, matching die. And you can use whichever die you might like. Um, you know, if you want yours a little bigger or a little smaller. Um... I don't think you could go much smaller. You might go a little bit. All right. So, let me lay these over here with that. I've got some trash where I was working a minute ago. Apparently, I didn't get it all picked up. So, what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and glue this little turtle to the... Um, green or mossy meta scalloped layer. Come on, Betty. Didn't put a whole lot of glue on, so I've, it 
not sliding as easy as it does if you have a little bit more. Okay, I think that'll be okay. All right, let me get my paper here. I have, I did not get out my card base, but this is why I like to keep my card bases made up all the time. So there's the card base. I've got a piece of, um, well, let's talk about that in case somebody new is watching. Five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored at four and a quarter. And uh, I also have two pieces. Yeah, there it is. Two pieces of um, Mossy Meta cut at four by five and a quarter. One will go on the inside, one will go on the outside. This is a piece of the Whimsy Wonder Paper Pack. It is cut at three and three quarters inches by five. This piece that we just stamped the sentiment on is three and three quarters by five, and it will go on the inside. And as you saw, I just got two pieces of paper for this. And, you know, whatever you've got, if you've got, you know, a four by four or three by three might be big enough, you'll just have to try it out and see. These are four and three quarters uh, by one and, a, one and three quarters. And this one is one and a half by four and a half. So I'm going to show you how to punch the edges on these. They will be glued together in a minute. This is a little banner that is three quarters by three and three quarters. And this is a half inch uh, by... It'll be just under four inches when we get, I mean, under three and three quarters inches when we get it trimmed off. So, um, the one thing that I still need to do is to stamp the sentiment on this. So, let me push this back, and we'll just go ahead and do that. I could have done it a minute ago, but I didn't. And I'm just going to use a block to do that with. Normally what I do a lot of times is I stamp it first and then cut it. It's a little bit easier to do it that way, but maybe I can get it done this way. That looks like, well, maybe it'll be all right, I hope. All right, I'm gonna pull this back to me for a second. I'm doing the best I can to center this. I think it's all right. It's a little heavy on one side with the ink. Like I said, I'm having a little trouble with this particular ink pad. Um, I had re-inked it, and I guess I got too much ink on it. There was nothing wrong with the pad when I got it. And... Uh, I, I just, I'm not the greatest at, at getting the ink real even um, like it is when it comes from the factory, but nevertheless, uh, we'll manage today. All right, this is the little triple banner punch that I'm going to use to cut the end like this one. You just slide it up in its slot. This one may or this one might be a little bit big. If you get them just, let's see, there. If you get, I, I guess it seems like that if it's a total full half inch, you might need to just shave off a tiny little bit to get it to fit in these things 
Um, I'm sure they're measured properly, but, you know, when you're eyeballing things, you know, it might be that it's just a, a, a tad too wide. So that's that was the issue with that. But the reason I like this banner is because if I have a small area, like with this card, that I want to put something across, and I don't have a um, die that is exactly the size that will fit right in there, then this this triple banner punch is, is just great. All you have to do is put a little uh, whichever ending, you know, you want. It can be rounded. And then the wider it gets, you know, it changes the shape of it. But you can do a half, three quarters, and an inch wide, and you can do two different ends. So that makes this punch really nice. And the other punch that I'm going to use today is one that I've had for a while, but it is a really good punch too. And it is the triple banner punch. So I'm going to slide this up, and I'm going to turn it over so that I can see. Try to make sure I've got it lined up. This is for people like me that can't that can't free cut things and get them where they need to be. Let's see. Get that centered. I think that's all right. And look how easy that is. See, these things make it easy for you when you're um, crafting. I mean, I have cut these. You know, you can kind of cut a, a, a the center of the the cardstock and then come in from each side. But I still don't get them straight, so I like this because of that. So there, there you go. I'm going to glue these together and get them ready, and we'll be almost to where I started from when <laughs> I did the other video. <laughs> You do kind of hate to start over when you had everything laid out, everything cut, and you got to start over from square one. And I went over and cut the pieces and got them ready anyway. That's why I, that's why I say cut everything first. You'll find that on my PDFs, I almost always say that. And some of the some of the things you can you can do first or, or second, I mean, you know, they don't always have to be done exactly in the same order. Like, I could have stamped everything all at once. I, I try to be mindful of that when I'm writing up the the um, instructions, though. I try to make it as easy as I can without doing uh, too much, too many steps, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let me get that little tiny bit of glue there. I don't like that. I do keep a baby wipe around to get the glue off my hands, and sometimes it really comes in handy. And I got a little bit right there, too, looks like. All right, that was my last baby wipe, so it was soppy wet. All right, now then, we're going to glue this piece on. I was listening to a motivational speaker, I guess he is. He's also an actor. And I think he was speaking to one of the colleges, maybe. I'm not sure. But, you know, it was, it was really good because he said, don't make a living, but make a difference. And I think when you send cards to people, and put a little smile on their face. I think that's making a difference. Because people today just need to be uplifted some. All of us do. Because most of what comes in the mail are bills and flyers. And, you know, <laughs> I heard this person say one time, and I thought it was 
It was a little bit amusing, but it was all so true. He said, you know, when it gets to be on towards Christmas time, he said, I get so many catalogs in the mail, I wonder how there could be any trees left. And I have to agree with him. It seems that way a lot of the time. Okay. Let's just go ahead and glue this inside in since that's the way I normally have it done. And we'll put it together and I'll have three of these cards. So. <laughs> ah, that glue is... You don't usually come out like that. Okay. At least it's coming out of the container today. Sometimes you can't hardly get it to come out. Okay. That's all right. Put this on the inside. I hope this little turtle stays around for a while. With stamping up, you're never quite sure how long they're gonna be here. But, all right, I think that looks fine. And now we're ready to do the outside. I haven't done live videos because it's not that I don't enjoy talking to people. I do, but I'm one of these people that can't hardly chew chewing gum and walk at the same time. And if I get a little bit distracted, uh, there's no telling where I'll end up. Maybe I'll get brave one day and start doing some live videos. Because I would, I, you know, I really like to to get to know um, some of the people that enjoy this craft. I've had a lot of people subscribe, and by all means, thank you. I want to say thank you uh, for doing that. I appreciate it so much. Okay, a little bit. I get glue, I get <laughs> ink, a little bit of everything all over me. I'm sure a lot of you probably know who May May is on uh, YouTube, if you like crafting at all, but... You know, her, her lingo is, or her motto is, if May May made it, you can make it. Well, I think my motto is going to have to be, if you can get glue on you, Clara will. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, glue or ink or whatever. The other day I came out with a jewel in my hair. Those things are sneaky. Sometimes they like to take flight. And there's no telling where they'll land up. Okay. All right, as you can see, the, ca the card is coming right along. I put the, the white banner on top of the Mossy Meta banner first. Then I glued that unit to the unit of the DSP and the Mossy Meta. And then I glued the whole unit to the card base. And I'm sure you noticed that 
while I was yapping. And here's this cute little turtle. I think he needs a name, don't you? I don't know what it would be, though. I think the artist did a nice job on him. Or her. Or it. Whatever in this society. Who knows? Okay, let's put a few dimensionals on the back of this. little little pieces are left over from a minute ago and they were sticking by use this pick a tool to lift them up with and you can take the backs off with the, the little protective coverings off too which I do a lot of the time okay All right, there's one. Ah, what happened with this one is the protective covering from underneath didn't come off in the, on the sheet, so it didn't stick. But it, I mean, it's, it's sticky, it's just that I didn't get the covering off. Okay. All right. I think I got them all. We've got the turtle up a little higher on this one, but that's okay. We'll, we'll still do the best we can. There we go. And we're going to put some jewels. These are called brushed metallic dots. And I really like them. I've used these that are kind of greenish more than the others so far, but I'm sure I'll use the others too. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I think these are out of stock right now, and hopefully they'll be back in real soon. They must be a real popular item. I sure like them. Okay. I think that if I check my video and I'm still uh, verbal, uh, I will be finished with this part. So I will work to get the video on this afternoon. But anyway, um, if you haven't sub subscribed, and it doesn't seem like that word's going to come out for me, I'd appreciate it. And if you know of somebody that might like to um, do some crafting and maybe make cards, please share this with them. Uh, you know, kind of get the word out. I mean, if we get somebody else that enjoys making cards, then that puts some more smiles on people's faces. So, you know, I kind of look at this as a, a way to make people smile um, as much as anything. So... Um, there's a few items on the clearance rack that are new, and, um, there's a new paper pack that's out now, so, um, I'll get some information on that and, uh, put that on the website as well, but, um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's been beneficial, and I thank you so much for your time. I'm sorry it took a little longer today, but uh, sometimes you have to back up and push. And, uh, you know, better, better to do that than not to get the job done. So thank you very much. You have a nice weekend, and I'll see you back the first of the week. Thank you.